Hi guys, my name is Saurav, and in this video, we'll start looking at some of the DevOps jobs and try to analyze what sort of questions that the job can answer. So this is more like an interview preparation. So let's go ahead with it. So in here, if you see, uh, there is a job for GCP DevOps engineer. So which says uh, that uh, it's from the, the Tata Consultancy Services. They're looking for around four to eight years of experience and the location might be in Hyderabad, Bangalore or Pune. So let's start having a look at this job and we try to analyze it. So the job is looking for an experience in design, development, and deployment of GCP resources as infrastructure as code in Google Cloud. It also asks for a strong knowledge in automation frameworks, CICD process, and tools, uh, and also mentions that Jenkins, GitHub, and SonarCube is a must. Looking for strong knowledge in Terraform and Sentinel, familiarity with agile practices and frameworks, good knowledge of Kubernetes, good knowledge of Java and microservices with GCP Exposure. The role is for DevOps engineer, industry type is IT services, the role is full-time and permanent and DevOps. So this is the position that uh, they're describing in and uh, they're looking for four to eight years of experience with extensive experience in uh, Google Cloud and uh, also on the automation frameworks and sentence. So, if uh, you're going in for this type of interview, what sort of questions do you expect? So let's start having a look at some of the questions that might be expected. So the first question that I can think of, and mind you that the questions might differ from an interview to interview, but these are the common set of questions that I can think of. And let's start going through some of the questions and also some of these answers. So the first question is, can you provide an example of projects where you have designed, developed, and deployed GCP resources using infrastructure as code principles? What tools and frameworks did you use and what challenges did you face during the implementation? So understand that this question is all about infrastructure as core principles and the tools and the frameworks. So how you would go and answer this question is, so in a recent project at ABC Corp, I played a pivotal role in implementing infrastructure as code using Terraform for provisioning and managing GCP resources. We designed a modular Terraform script to create reusable components, ensuring consistency across various environments. Our main challenge was managing dependencies between different components, especially when dealing with complex infrastructures. And to address this, we carefully structured our Terraform modules and utilized remote state storage in Google Cloud. This approach not only facilitated easier collaboration, but also allowed us to manage the infrastructure changes more efficiently. So by answering this, what you have done here is that you have played you have shown the importance of implementing infrastructure as code. You have also worked on the designing and of the modular Terraform scripts. You also spoke about the challenges for maintaining the dependencies between different components. Also, you told about how how it helped. So the, the approach only not only facilitated easier collaboration, but also allowed to manage the infrastructure changes more efficiently. Next question, how do you approach the integration of automation frameworks and CICD process such as Jenkins, GitHub, and SonarCube into the development and deployment pipelines? Can you share a specific scenario where these tools played a crucial role in improving efficiency or code quality? So in here, you're supposed to talk about the integration of automation frameworks, the CICD processes, Jenkins, GitHub, SonarCube, also sharing the specific scenario where the tools have played a crucial role. So how would you go about answering this is that in a prior role at XYZ solution, so you have to uh, get whatever company that you name for. So it's very important to name an, a past experience whenever you are answering these questions, because then the interviewer knows that you have some experience in working towards these type of uh, problems. So in a prior role at XYZ, I led the integration of Jenkins, GitHub, and SonarCube into our CICD pipeline. So Jenkins was configured to initiate automatic builds triggered by the code commits to the GitHub repository. Automated tests were executed during the build process, and SonarCube provided continuous feedback on the, on the code quality, identifying issues such as code smells and potential security vulnerabilities. The integration significantly improved our development efficiency by reducing manual intervention, 
and the code quality improved as well as the developers received prompt feedback on their contributions, allowing for quick identification and resolution of issues. So with this answer, what you have told is you have covered all the different points for the CI CD. Now, mind you that the interviewer might start going deeper into each of these. For example, how, how did you integrate Sonar Cube? What were the installations? Was it installed in Docker? Was it in Kubernetes or was it on a self-server? So it depends on uh, what is the next question uh, that might come up from whatever you are answered in here. So the third question on, on this particular job opening can be, what experience do you have with Terraform and Sentinel in the context of GCP? Can you discuss a situation where you utilize these tools to address specific infrastructure challenges or enhance the security measures? So in here, the interviewer is asking about a situation where you utilize the tools like Terraform and Sentinel to address the specific infrastructure challenges. So how you should be answering this question? So this question should be answered in a below way. So in a challenging infrastructure project at DEF Innovations, we utilize Terraform for resource provisioning in the Google Cloud and implemented Sentinel policies for to reinforce the security and compliance. So one notable instance, so now you have to tell about some instance. So one notable instance was the implementation of custom Sentinel policies to ensure secure configurations, like restricting public access to certain resources and enforcing naming conventions. So this not only enhanced security, but also ensured that the infrastructure adhered to the organizational and industry compliance standards. The combination of Terraform and Sentinel provided us with a robust infrastructure as well as proactive security measures against misconfigurations. So in here, you are telling the benefits of Terraform. How would you use Sentinel? What were the different policies uh, and what uh, how it helped in enhancing the security? Also, you're talking about the proactive security measures against the misconfigurations. Now, so this is this is probably the right answer as to how you would explain uh, how you utilized all these different tools. So question four, how do you apply agile practices and frameworks in your work, especially in the context of cloud infrastructure development and deployment? Can you share an example of a project where agile methodologies positively impacted the outcome? So this question is not just a technical question. So it's more about how you actually did some collaborations where using agile practices, how it helped in your project. So it's, it's more about the process rather than the technology. 